Campbell's on right, yeah. During the Christmas <laughs> holidays, three brothers returned to their Midwestern family home to keep their widowed father company. Straight White Men is the first play written by an Asian American woman to be produced on Broadway. It opens this weekend at the Bartell Theater in Madison, and our Michael Bruno went backstage to check it out. Well, here we are. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Straight White Men is a play about three sons who gather at their father's house for Christmas. I'm glad to have you boys home. Is that privilege? Why, yes, it is. One of your mother's craftiest <laughs> inventions. <laughs> and the eldest son, Matt, which is the character that I play, uh, had a very promising beginning, a very good education, great uh, work record, and has moved back in with Dad and suddenly doesn't seem to be living up to his potential. I seem to recall someone here starting his own school. They're playing this game and the, as you can see from the set, it is a game board and so that's how the play unfolds and these characters are able to uh, explore how they fit into the world. Well, so is Mrs. Johnson. Oh, did you fix her sink? So Drew is the youngest brother. Um, because of that, he's a little bit more um, annoying. <laughs> and uh, he is also a professor, a tenured professor, professor and uh, a award-winning novelist. Uh, so I think that's one of the interesting things about his character is that you have who he is on paper. He's professor, award-winning novelist, all those very sort of serious academic things. But when he's around his family again, it just, all that melts away and he's, he's a kid again. And at the end of Act One, something happens, occurs, which takes the family into a very deep conversation examining what is, uh, what is it like to be a man in modern America? What are the pressures, expectations? What's the interplay between the privilege we have, being straight white males, and the, the pressures on the culture to be this, be that, to always be in charge, excelling? What did the Times critic call it? A radical attack on the crassness of American material. So I play a person in charge, so I'm not actually part of the family. There are two, two people in charge who uh, kind of observe what the how the family dynamics are. We do have some interaction with the characters, um, but we, like the audience, are really there to listen and watch and pay attention and learn from what we see. They have the family who are straight white men, and the people in charge who are not straight white men. They are individuals of color who, who are all over the spectrum of honestly being human. The teacher terminator. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Matt got the drama teacher fired also for only casting white people in Oklahoma. <laughs> it's very much a play of the, the current gender politics, the way we are examining gender and gender identity in whole new ways. Uh, and the playwright Young Jean, Jean Lee uh, takes us into, while we're examining all of this shifting uh, landscape of gender, what's happening with the, the dominant, most privileged group among us as that landscape shifts. And as we examine, there's privilege, but there's still cultural pressure. And how do those two things interact? And that's kind of where the, the friction is. He taught us how to fight and the small unit tactics, all the things a big brother's supposed to teach you. Oh, yeah. Who'd you learn all that stuff, man? <laughs> Who knows? Books. <laughs> <laughs>